CPS really that much different compared to the normal Satranio? Good question, Lin. Um, actually, I did have a good day out with it. It is more powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, handling is much still uh, still as good as what the Satranio used to be, yes. Mm -hmm. But the overall impression is always going to be of that body kit, you know, as you mentioned earlier. It's mm -hmm. just so mean, mm -hmm. so aggressive looking. It's a very rally car refugee sort of thing. But the point is, the Satranio is for the masses. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good buy for just over 57000 on the road. Something we can look at. Mm -hmm. However, if you could afford to double up the amount of money that you have, a whole new range of options is opened up for you, including the Alfa Romeo, Romeo Mito. Mito. Which, if you can remember a few episodes back, me and Aidian, we actually went to the Alfa Romeo Mito launch. And lucky enough, we are also the first few to test out this zippy little number. It stands for Milano and Torino. The place where this particular Alfa is both manufactured and styled. Built on the same platform as the Fiat Grande Punto, this is Alfa's response to BMW's top selling Mini. Looking like the love child between the Auto Check Compartition and an Apple, the Mito is strikingly cute. But don't take cuteness for weakness. This has been hailed as the spiritual successor to the legendary Alfa Sud, which means it's about to be something special. But the climate in which the Mito is introduced today is a significant one. For the first time ever, there's a wealth of small car options in the market, each with their own brand of nostalgia and heritage. Alpha's parent company, Fiat, has the Fiat 500, which, despite the big car price tag over here in Malaysia, it's still a wondrous little nugget of a car. And if you remember, there's also the Clio RS, which comes with an extra 40 brake horsepower, drives like a stripped-out racer, but costs 40,000 ringgit more too. And let's not forget the Mini, the undisputed champ of hot hatchery. It's sorted quick and brings an imaginary lifestyle that all women are hot and all men have good teeth. Owning a Mini is much like going to an English restaurant where the waiters are all French and the chef is German. You wait three hours for a sit, only to find that the menu has too many choices and that they've set you in the wrong table. Then you get the food, which is overrated. But owning the Mito is like going to an Italian restaurant with Brad Pitt instead of Arian in an Alpha. It's just the essence of cool. The food is brilliant, the company is sublime, and the car, come on. It's a scaled-down version of one of the world's prettiest supercar. Alpha doesn't need to do fake imaginary ads of people with fake teeth because owning an Alpha is the lifestyle statement. But style isn't all it's got. At 155,000 ringgit, the Mito may be the cheapest Alpha in Malaysia, but it's also one of the very best. It's got the soul of all of the best hot hatch cars in the world. With the DNA system, Alpha's very own drive logic system, you can choose one of the three settings to suit your preference. Honestly, just leave it in dynamic mode for the full Italian experience. It's some more. Push it too hard into a corner and you feel the front end is giving in to understeer. It may not be as adjustable on the limit as most of its competitors, but that doesn't take away the fun. 155 brake horsepower is a lot of hope for a car this size. And believe me, it never fails to leave you breathless. On the inside, the bespoke interior gives the Mito a very special ambiance. It's got four carbon fiber dash, a set of huge cup holder size aircon vents with climate control, a solid six speed gearbox, and a stonking great sound system. It really is a class above. with a few problems. For starters, there's no place for you to leave your arm on. The window sits too high, leaving your right arm hanging in mid-air. There's no cup holder. 
at least none that I could feasibly find. There's also no iPod connectivity, which in a car that screams urban trendsetter, the Mito can't do without. But that's pretty much it. If you're buying the Mito for all these reasons, you've basically got the wrong idea. What you get with the Alpha Mito is an underweight punching way above its belt line. The sum of its parts add up to form a truly ambitious hatch, one that manages to win my heart. And if I had the money, my wallet too. I personally feel that the Alpha Mito is amazingly talented and worthy of its 155,000 price. One thing for sure, if this is the future of things to come from Alpha Romeo, I'm truly, truly excited. And you should be too. Well, I regret I wasn't there, Lynn. Looks like you had a great time with the Mito, huh? Mm-hmm. I've driven all of the popular hot hatches. What was that? The, the... Mini, the Clio RS, mm -hmm. the Mito. How would you say they compare amongst, you know, all three of them? Well, for price range, I mean, the Mito is much more worth it compared to Mini because it's around 200000 as well as for the Clio RS, it's 40000 more compared to the Mito. Mm. Mm. Okay, very interesting. With a 1.4 litre turbo engine, it also uses less fuel, I believe. Yeah, in a way. Goodbye. So you save more money still. Yep, goodbye. Very interesting. Okay, so we are running out of time. So with that, Are thank you, you very much for watching. Yep. Bye bye. And we'll see you. see you again next week.